one and a half years ago, I bought this Polaroid 46 inch high definition 1080p top of the line TV from Walmart. Uh, I was asked if I wanted a two year service plan with it, which was $79. Of course, you know, I'm a fan of warranties and, you know, and the price didn't seem that much of an investment for a piece of equipment. That was going to cost me uh, roughly $1,600 after tax. So about $1,650 later, we've got me a 1920 by 1080 with two high definition media imports, um, PLA-046, uh, 046, uh, what is this? Zero, four zero six. 41C model number zero TLA zero four I'm sorry zero four six four one C. But as you can see, it's sitting on my floor, not where the TV should be, with the seven point one surround sound and the PlayStation three computer and uh, Direct TV sitting here on my floor. Uh, the service department at Walmart. I called them December thirty first on New Year's when I got a. Nintendo Wii, and it would not turn on. There was a yellow power light. Uh, press the power button several times. There was a ye yellow power light. Similar to that, you could press the power button about a hundred times, and it wouldn't turn on. If you brief search online, it seems like that there were forum posts about fixing this issue with certain Polaroid TVs. Turns out that uh, several uh, thousand microfarad capacitors had gone uh, bad or become leaky or bulging in uh, several of Polaroid's components. Uh, I don't know who the manufacturer was, but they apparently bought them from China. Anyways, Walmart says they'll have the service person out. You know, it's December 31st. I understand the holidays. Monday, January 5th. Monday, January 5th at 8 a.m. I call the person from uh, you know, Alabama is supposed to be coming in. Their company's never heard of me. They've never heard of my service call. I conference Walmart on with them. They can't get anything done. They're, you know, talking forever. You know, all I'm hearing is nonsense. My TV's not going to get fixed today. They're going to have to put in the service request again. But then they said they saw it, but it was canceled or expired in their system. I don't know how it expired. Maybe it's some Y9K issue, you know, Y29K issue or something like that. But um, apparently... Um, it's a $5 part that goes in this unit right here, which is actually the control box, which is very easy to remove. You just take three screws out of the unit and um, you get to the the uh, control box here. I, I'm not sure, but I'd say right here where the power comes in, there's uh, probably a blown cap or a leaky cap somewhere in, in one of these power supply unit boxes, but I'm not going to disassemble it. Um, for this video, the Walmart company, needless to say, I'm pretty mad at them, you know, they're sending somebody, they, they they wanted to send somebody from Atlanta after I'd requested a different company, but I mean, you know, I live in Nashville, and that's three hours drive, you know, they've got to be charging them first, they were going to come up here and diagnose it, you know, I already know what the issue is, it won't turn on, and there's a leaky capacitor issue more than likely, or, you know, the first component after trying different power outlets and different power cords would be that that box right there, um, I mean, they're, they're going to have to make one trip to diagnose, one trip to replace a part, and my product care plan, uh, the person said I could replace my own part up to 80% of the cost of the TV, which is $1,400, you know, I'm going to get them to drop ship me a part, which they finally agreed to do from one of the two distributors that Polaroid, I guess, only has. Um, after uh, I get the part, you know, uh, they said I couldn't direct build in, but, you know, my friend owns a company, and hey, guess what, he just started doing computer and TV repair. So they're going to get a bill for $400 of labor and, uh, you know, travel charge out to my house and everything to fix this TV that I had to remove the control box myself. Now, I know it's really dark in here, but you can see sort of where I've removed this control panel. Um, just a little plastic shield that guarded it. Uh, so be wary, one, of Walmart warranties. One of cheap capacitors from China, three of Polaroid, 
um, for uh, you know, some company out of Atlanta called Audio Video Specialist. I'm sorry, Alabama. Audio Video Specialist out of Alabama because they didn't make their appointment date. And uh, several several other um, links in the chain that have to do with this kind of issue. Uh, you know, I still suggest getting maybe a, some kind of warranty, but I mean, how can Walmart say that you know going to stand behind their product and uh, charge uh, $79 for two years if they're not going to deliver when they say they would deliver and be here with the parts? So now I've been out at TV five or six days. Uh, I'll give you an update, but I, I'd say it's safe to say I'm going to be putting in my own part and be out of TV for at least a week or two.